Perhaps you've been blessed by a neighbor with one of these giant zucchinis, or maybe you were lucky enough to grow them yourselves. Either way, this recipe is a great way to use up those zucchinis. I also had a giant scallopini that got away on me, and so I decided to shred it as well for this recipe. And I thought the yellow and the green together looked so pretty. So there is all my zucchini and scallopini shredded, and I froze most of it in one and a half cup bags for future use. These are the ingredients for this recipe, and this recipe would do well with a sharper cheese. I would just suggest adding less of it. To begin with, I add my dry ingredients to the bowl, stir those together so that they're mixed well. And then I attempted to push the flour bits aside. I have to admit, you guys, I'm not much of a baker. Just plain old cooking is kind of my forte. I mix my eggs together and put them in the center. I added my mayonnaise. If you had sour cream, it would taste good here too. Those are chives. And then I started to mix this together. I didn't mix it for too long before I added the zucchini because the zucchini adds a lot of moisture to the mixing process. I carefully mixed in the zucchini so that it was all incorporated. Your batter will not be runny. It should look like this, but you want to make sure it's all combined, but don't overwork it because you have baking powder in this recipe. I just folded in my cheese till it was combined enough so that it should be throughout the loaf. I put my prepared batter into a greased 9x5 loaf pan and I had my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I baked this in the center of my oven for 50 minutes or until done and in fact in 50 minutes it was done. This recipe would lend itself well to, as I said, a sharper cheese, like a Gruyere cheese or a Parmesan cheese. Just maybe don't add as much of that or add it instead of say a quarter cup of the cheddar. And it would also hold up well to adding a little bit of garlic or onion salt inside. Give it a try first and see how you would adapt it. Thanks for watching.